Hello, in this video I want to show you how to dimension an irregular site in Revit. Sometimes it is difficult to dimension a slanting boundary line if you don't know the way to go about it. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. Now if I pick my dimension now and I want to dimension from, I want to pick from this from this corner to this corner you can see if I bring my cursor my cursor close to it it is not snapping the the edge rather it's snapping the line so if I try to dimension it now you see it is not going in the direction that, that I want it to go so the best way to go about it is you simply bring your cursor over that angle you want to dimension and you continue to press your tab until you see a green dot now you can see a little green dot here you can see a little green dot here if i press my tab so you now click then you go to the next point you 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 press your tab again until you see a green dot okay now you see a little green dot here sorry you can see it now it has come okay so you can now place your dimension if i, I want to do this side too I will do the same thing. I'll press my tab until I see a little green dot. Then I click. Okay. Then I go to the next end. I'll do the same thing. All right. Here you go. Okay. So that is how you dimension an irregular shape site in Revit. I hope you benefited from this video. If you do, I'd like you to give me feedback of how you are enjoying this course and looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.